Good morning, America. How are you? I'm Thor. I'm your native son. Ah, sorry about that. Okay, I decided to make this very special, very instant weather video because I got a severe weather alert from AccuWeather. I was like, hey, cool, severe weather alert. I like severe weather when it doesn't kill me or anyone else. And it said, hey, dude, funnel clouds are possible through the early afternoon. And I was like, what? What the hell? I was like, I guess that's symmetry because I was planning on eating a funnel cake. So I guess funnel clouds will go really well with my funnel cake. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess I have to go to a fair or some type of carnival. I mean, it's not, not like any normal place sells funnel cakes. Okay, so yeah. If you clicked on this because you're from Houston and you heard and you're like, I want to know more about funnel clouds. You expect some totally serious, total semi gloomy and doomy video on uh, funnel clouds. Well, you're going to have to go somewhere else. Because I'm in a good mood. I went to the beach yesterday. The beach always makes me happy. So, yeah, we got very moist and buoyant air coupled with numerous low-level boundaries, which will produce a favorable environment for brief funnel clouds and possibly water spouts. There you go again. Water spouts, man. But don't worry. Water spouts, if you see one, they are not dangerous. You can go run up to a water spout and jump right in it, and then it'll spin you around and then spin you back out uh, and spit you back out in, into a safe place. Okay, that is not true at all. I definitely wouldn't go run and jump into a water spout. <clears throat> I'm making that joke because before and I'm like, dude, we got water spout problems. Nobody really cares. When I say nobody, I just mean people who aren't watching my video. Hold on a second, I'm a light cigarette. So, hey, yeah, Houston, we may have funnel clouds till like 1 p.m. Central Time. You should put Texas time, man. Okay. And so, that's that. I mean, the video's not done, but... Short-lived detecting radar, radar. Occasionally, these funnel clouds extend to the ground and become weak tornadoes. Yeah, dudes, don't worry. You know? These tornadoes are weak AF. You know? <laughs> okay. So, let's check shit out. Oh, no, I cussed. It specifically says in the Bible, if you say shit, you're going to hell, man. I'm like, uh-oh. Oh, shit. Holy sugar. Okay. So, yeah, we got this giant little uh, storm area off of the Gulf Coast, kind of up the East Coast. And the weird thing is these storms have been growing backwards. I'm going to freehand this. No, I'm a freehand it, baby. All right. When I said baby, I'm talking about computer. You are a freehand it. What is your problem today? I'm the hackers. I'm going to have a ton of hackers in here since I wrote that info sec song. Okay. Wow, it almost looks like a superhero kind of mask. It's Robin. Okay, so yeah. And the weird thing about this storm is it's been growing backwards. Bassackwards, as we like to say here in Texas. Um, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's been growing bassackwards. Go ahead and play. I will make small talk as this plays the past. I don't even know what that means. I mean, it's So, yeah, so the, the line kind of goes backwards at times. So, Houston, we may be getting some interesting and active weather today. We may not. So, when I was driving back from the beach, man, I watched clouds grow, and they grew so high. I'd never seen clouds grow that high before. Those clouds are on drugs. Yeah, and, of course, we got I Will Be Talking Later, making a really great, awesome, funny, hilarious video that we'll spend way too much time editing on, how we have tropical wave to watch off Africa. We have a tropical storm named Don. And just pure coincidence. Everybody in science is saying, oh my God, it's a total coincidence. We got Don and Hillary. Plus Ferdinanda. 8E. Which I think is Hillary. And then Greg. So yeah, is a pretty damn active ocean at the moment. And that doesn't even count the 7.8 earthquake in Alaska. And then the 6.3 in Peru. Yeah last night thank god there was no deadly tsunami oh speaking of that 
And that all came off the sun's activity. Whoops. And so I just want to remind you people that this sunspot here is rolling around and away from us. It's still extremely active, and it looks like it's got a binary relationship with this sunspot above it. That might not even be a sunspot, but it is to me. So it's like they, they keep interacting, so we have no idea what the hell is going on. But that thing should be rolling around right for the August eclipse. Do you have a date yet? I do not. And I, the problem is, unfortunately, I have a crush on someone who lives in New York. And um, I haven't had a crush like this since like seventh grade. <laughs> you know? So like I have my eyes focused on one person. So I guess I should just ask that person out, have them say no, and then move on. Because there are rumors that say the attitude, energy, and tone you take into the eclipse will stay with you for the next six months to three years. That seems That seems like a good thing to think about. So I would say stay positive, stay cool. All the things you want to create and do over the next six months, two, three years, take that mindset into the eclipse. So I guess it's like wishing on a falling star, but different, but way more powerful. All right. Also, I think the weather's going to continue to get really weird up until the eclipse. So, like I said, so we got this side freaking out. This side looks kind of nasty. The other side. So, hopefully we won't get any more major earthquakes, but we will be getting... Still weird weather from now until God knows when, you yeah. know? And yeah, look at that side. The whole thing is flipping out. The whole th the sun's flipping out again. Well, good. Everybody, you know, things are getting really boring anyways. Asterisk, I was joking. No sarcasm. Okay, here we go. So there's the sun. Let's put it in one more perspective for you to kind of get an idea. Of, look how, look at that. <laughs> Can you see that, man? Look at that. Look at it right there. Look how just intense that is, man. Sun baby A F R N. Okay. Down the, if you look down the middle, hold on. Let me draw this. Can I draw this? All right, here we go. Let me draw again. Can you handle it? You still here? Sweet. Look at this thing. It's like a crack down the middle. All the way down. What would happen if the sun cracked in half? I wonder if that would affect the climate. It was funny. One time, guy goes, "I will pay <clears throat> anyone ten thousand dollars if you can prove that carbon is not the main driver of climate change." I go, "Okay, dude. Here's here's the deal. If you turned off the sun, would climate change?" He did not give me ten thousand dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. So there we go. The sun there. We're looking at Earth. Yeah, like I said, you got a really active ocean, and I'll do a really well cut video in a while. Uh, you know, I was sick of freaking there. That shit tears me up because I got a, a very visual brain. I started writing screenplays at a very young age, like 13. And, um, and so when I do weather visuals like I see it all again and again and again like and I see the, like a horrible future futures and so it really makes me sad and depresses me and tears me up a lot so I was like shit I don't want to do more weather videos and I realized hey this is my job that's what you guys pay me for and um, apparently I'm doing a bad job because I'm always broke but if you do want to continue to pay me you can always donate at the PayPal link I'll put at the top of the video um, and I want, I want to eat a steak sometime. I haven't had a steak in like two or three months, so that'd be great. I think I've earned it, but who knows, man. It's weird times. So yeah, we're keeping an eye on the oceans. And I'll have that. I will be doing a weather video on the oceanic situation. I was totally wrong about another hurricane coming and hitting us. I admit that. I'm sorry. I just got a little jazzed about my eclipse weather paranoia. Um, but hey. Unlike most YouTube channels, I'll say, yeah, I made a mistake. I was wrong. And I'm cool with it. I like being wrong because I'm right so often. Maybe that's why I have a hard time finding a girlfriend. I don't even want to talk about it, man, because being single is pretty awesome. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. I'm Kathy Chatty on this one. All right. Yeah, there's mean sea level pressure, and there's a lot of bad weather going on, continuing to go on in Asia. Wow, look at that one hurricane, man. That thing is just... 
nasty right there. I forget his name. I'll do my homework and research later. Uh, let's take a check out total cloud water. That's the total water that is in the clouds. And right now, that, that one hurricane seems to be eating it up. You better watch out, Hawaii. Wow, look at all that water by the earthquake. That's crazy. Sorry, I'm making bad microphone noises. I'm being lazy today. Not lazy, just worn out. The beach, where's you at? Because it's one thing, if you're walking on hard sand, it's like, okay, this is, you know, like concrete or grass. Then if you walk on soft sand, it's like walking in quicksand. Oh, hey, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and then we'll have, usually, the, I mean, the pattern we're sticking with, wave after 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 wave. Um, you know, the storms kind of kick up around. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then they get bad Thursday, Friday through the weekend. So we will continue to see that pattern. Look at all this total cloud water that is up top. Uh, there's been talk about a pattern change. So California might be getting some rain, but their scary horror film dam level peak capacity shit has gone way down. So there are no dam levels in danger at the moment. Ooh, look at that. Man, this predicts that hurricane to grow Nibiru wings. That's that's doomy, right? All right. What the hell? That was weird. Look at that. It goes, it's going forward, and then it just goes backwards. Do you see that right there? This is the 22nd, and this is the 21st. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. I don't get no data. All right, so... This is just fun and easy, letting you guys know. Oh, yeah, I should get done because this is all about funnel clouds in, in Houston, you know. Captain Funnel Cloud, that's me. Whatever, man. Okay, so love you guys. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I hope you have a great day, and I'll be working on videos all day. Got, like, tons and tons and tons of videos that are, like, halfway done. But it's like I make a video, and then sometimes they're just not that interested in it anymore. Anyway, hope everybody has a great day. Um, let's try to have a great week. I feel refreshed and ready to kick ass and take names. I guess technically that's what the comment section is for. All right, and good luck. Like I said, start making your eclipse plans now. Um, and I'd start gathering. I'd get your eclipse date now. And um, let's have a good time, though the weather's going to get weirder. And I've got a really crazy, wacky eclipse theory. It's a little gloomy, but I'll put that together. It's kind of cool, though. But man, look at the ocean going on. Yeah, there's some crazy-ass patterns in the ocean. I think it's going to be active in the, like, wind shear. Was it the trade winds shift? That's why we don't get a lot of hurricanes in the Atlantic, because uh, the wind shear and the... What is it? Let me show it here. All right, let's go. Servers down. All right, I'm gonna go to, doo -doo, give me two seconds. Can you give me two seconds? Okay, cool. You're the best. Let's go. Wind. All right, here's wind stream. And so this jet stream, which is just crazy and on drugs and on tequila, when the hurricanes come up, it tears. It across, but I guess the big problem now has been the dusty air off of Africa. God, look at that jet stream. So, I'm going to go to today. What is today? The 18th? Wow, look at that. There's your crazy ass jet stream. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I'm just marveling at it right now. Okay, so. Yeah, so the winds kind of tear up. Let me go to different levels. It's, there's 70, 500, 700. All right, whatever. I guess it's the air that's tearing them up because these look conducive to hurricane activity. All right. I forgot about my point. Oh, yeah, so the, the winds tear, tear them up, but the trade winds shift. And that's why August and September are traditionally the worst hurricane months. So, it hadn't even gotten to peak season yet. We were in it close. 
So they just let you know. I better put this up. You know, when people run into funnel cake hurricanes. Oh my God, funnel cakes. Fudge. Fudge. Peace out.